People who don't ever want to have kids, why? I just have no desire. I don't hate kids, I love my nieces and nephews and have a great time being an influential part of their life. However, that means that I also see how difficult and stressful it is to raise kids. I understand that people really love it and it's worth it to them. But that's just not me. I love my niece and nephew too but after an entire day with them I really, really need some peace and quiet. If it's your own kids, you don't get that. So I imagine that but 24 stroke 7 and I don't understand how people do it. In psych class we learned about a study where they separated monkeys from their mothers at birth. The monkeys grew to be anxious and twitchy. When those monkeys had their own kids, the mothers didn't know how to care for them. I was raised horribly so I don't know how to raise someone well. My parents had children even though their parents abused them. My grandparents parents probably also abused them. I'm just cutting off the cycle. Freedom. My husband and I would probably be pretty good parents and we're in a good spot financially. But we feel complete with each other. We have fun together and want to spend the rest of our lives without the responsibility and stress of kids. Pretty much exactly the same for my wife and I. Life is good. Life is simple. Let's keep it that way. Because I believe that children deserve parents that will love them. Always put them first. Spend quality time with them and make sacrifices so that their children can have the best opportunities. But at the same time have the strength to set boundaries and discipline them in a healthy way so that they grow into good human beings. Also because I don't currently have a partner or much financial stability in my life at this stage and I don't want to be a single parent or bring a child into the world if I'm not in a position to provide for them. And I don't trust myself to be unselfish enough to be everything that I believe a child deserves. I sometimes catch myself thinking that children might be nice, but until I'm sure of myself, financially stable and in a steady relationship a child is unlikely to be in the picture. Comma and I don't trust myself to be unselfish enough to be everything that I believe a child deserves. Same. As someone who wants to become an elementary school teacher, people are often shocked to find out I don't want children. But the reason is simple. They cost a lot of money, they take up a lot of free time and space and I have terrible genes. I don't want to give birth and go through all that. Adoption is a long process and a lot of money that I don't have kids are expensive. I'm also scared of giving birth. I don't want kids anyway but just hearing the stories of some women's birth experience freaks me out. Lack of desire to become a parent or have kids. You know how some people want kids so bad, they suffer mentally and emotionally from not having them or knowing they can't have them. How people say they feel hormonal, wanting kids real bad, they can't control it. Their ovaries are exploding, baby fever, or any other colloquialism about wanting to have a baby real soon, never had that. People kept telling me that as I'd grow older, would reach my 30s, find my soulmate, my friends start having children, etc. I would start to have that feeling. I went through all these milestones and I still edit don't have that desire for kids. And I don't think it's necessary to have kids if one does not have the desire for it. A lot of people think they have to have kids and don't ever ask themselves whether they want them or not. I'm lazy. I like my free time. I like money. Well, the little I have. I like sleep. I've also just never had the instinct in me to want kids. I feel complete without them. Plus it's scary enough worrying about my own future, let alone the future of miniature humans I am responsible for bringing into the world. I'd rather give it a miss. I was parentified as child to my four younger siblings. When I see a child now, I act nice but cannot wait to get away from it. A child crying screaming immediately puts me in an angry foul mood for the rest of the day. I had my share of caring for kids and have next to nothing positive come out of it. I don't even know if I will have a future myself. It feels selfish to bring a child into this world at this current state. Yeah my answer to this question is gesture wildly towards the world outside. I personally don't want to put my body through the trauma of growing and birthing a child children. I can barely emotionally handle myself a lot of the time and don't want to risk passing on any of my mental illnesses to someone who didn't ask to be born. And they're overall a huge financial burden and with the pandemic having destroyed my personal finances, I will never be in a financial position to feel comfortable 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 comfortable.
Pregnancy sounds awful. Labor birth sounds worse. I like to do what I want, when I want. Sleeping and being left alone are my two favorite things. I'm not even reliable enough to have a dog. The neediest creature I can handle are cats. I don't think human children fit into that personality. I don't want to change my lifestyle. I want to go out whenever I want. Sleep whenever I want. ETC etc. Eat in fancy restaurants instead of family restaurants. Plus, they are loud and smelly. My freedom. I thoroughly enjoy being able to travel on a whim and not have to worry about a money less dependent tagging along. Or being able to go out for dinner or just skip it if I'm not hungry. Rather than having to worry about someone else and what they want to eat. Or having a car with no back seats and not having to deal with a car seat. I like being responsible for myself and just myself. I agree 100%. I'm in my 20s so I wonder if my perspective will ever change. I can barely go through my period without painkillers. I'll never manage to give birth. But also, I don't like kids, they're annoying. This I have had strangers call ambulances for me multiple times because my period cramps made me look like I was gonna die. I can't imagine my body could handle pregnancy and or birth. They're too much work. They're too expensive. They take too much time. I hate babies and toddlers. Kids are annoying as frick. The climate is destroyed and there won't be a habitable world left for them. I don't want to ruin my body. And I certainly don't want the responsibility. You said it all. These are the right answers. Especially the environment emo. I had kids and feel regretful now. Feel like my body lied to me. And I have so much anxiety about the world they are growing up in will inherit. Money. Mental emotional state. Heck even social state because then you don't really get to do anything. You have to constantly stay by your kid and or take them everywhere. Some parents will do crap without their kids all the time, which would end up being me. And I would not want that for that child. I'd want to be there for that kid but I'm barely there for myself. I'm just not emotionally available. Plus, I play guitar, and video games, and a slew of other things. I'd much rather put money into things I enjoy than another human. Not to mention I didn't have the best examples growing up. I'd probably be a terrible father. So I'm super late to the party, as usual. But maybe one person will see this. I grew up with an abusive father. Sadly, I see myself acting like him way too much. I really hate it. I know that when I raise my voice at my mum she thinks I'm just like my father. If I ever get kids I'd mess them up. I'll be just as bad of a parent as he was and I don't want to be someone who brings this kid into the world just to end up fricking them up. Finally someone who feels the same. My parents weren't even abusive or completely terrible. But they still fricked me up so bad. I don't want to do that to another human being. I like having time, money, and freedom. My wife and I have tons of health issues, mental and physical, including chronic depression, Crohn's, epilepsy, etc. The world is just a nasty place and there's no reason to bring a child into it anymore. Money and freedom to travel. Kids allowed. Gross. Expensive and annoying and I like to sleep in and go anywhere and do anything on a dime. I have Crohn's and refuse to pass it on. I know there's a chance it won't happen, but I won't risk it. Oh so many reasons. Where to begin? 1. I am a woman. Which means 100% of the physical aspects of pregnancy extreme nausea, discomfort, pain, hormone imbalances, etc. And then labor which is widely recognized as one of the single most painful things the body can go through. Then once the baby is born you feed it with your boobs. And in many cases are the main caretaker, emotional support, time manager, cook, maid, and breadwinner for that human. I simply do not want to do any of that. For me personally, pregnancy and birth is the equivalent of body horror like the Saw movies, or most aptly, Alien. 2. I grew up in a very culty evangelical church in the midst of Mormon Utah, so everyone around has super conservative traditional values and woman's sole purpose in life is to squeeze out kids, not to have hopes and aspirations, careers, or anything like that. If you're a woman where I'm from, you have to make your dream around having kids. You are only a womb and you must be owned by a man. 3. I have a sensory processing disorder that makes me get very overwhelmed pretty easily. Kids are noisy and messy and stinky and fragile. 
and while I like kids, and mass they are really hard for me to be around. 4. Nothing about being a parent whatsoever appeals to me. I simply don't want to do any of that. I absolutely love being able to go anywhere and do anything on a whim and I love my alone time. 5. I have more than my share of physical and mental disorders I would never wish on another human. 6. There are millions of orphans in the world. What about Emmy and my genes is so special that I have to create an entire new human from scratch? The world doesn't need more people. I'm curious actually many people find making their own babies more important giving a home to child in need, not trying to be a dong or accusatory, genuinely curious. I know couples who've spent tens of thousands of dollars on fertility treatments when that money could have just as easily gone to adopting a child. For the record, this is solely my opinion. I don't expect anyone to feel the same and I'm happy for people who love kids and want to have their own. Also, I have heard all of the but it's different when they're your own and but that is so selfish and who will take care of you when you're older. ETC arguments and all they do is anger me. I am more than a freaking womb. I do not want kids. Why is that everyone else's? Including strangers and co-workers. Business. I am choosing to be selfish consciously. Karen. And none of your invasive comments questions will change that. I don't want kids because I don't need them to live a happy life. Also, I'm selfish and don't want to make the sacrifices necessary for rearing competent children. Have you seen the world out there? I mean several generations have already looked at serious looming problems and said, but the children are our future. They'll fix it. Within my lifetime I've seen climate change go from global warming and very mild changes to once in a century environmental events happening every year. The boomers kept saying that one day the younger generations will be in charge and they'd deal with it then. But even now the boomers are a massive proportion of the voting population with it only being 3 years since millennials have outnumbered them. It's time to stop making more people until we can fix the problems we're causing. Add to this as well. I have enough empathy for other human beings children that I continue to work for a better future for other people's kids that are coming into existence. I enjoy doing what I like to do when I feel like doing it. I've managed to find a partner, a job and lifestyle that lets me do that and I don't want to get away from that. I don't like stress. I like things simple and fun and I've worked my entire life on myself to be able to enjoy that feeling now and I don't want to waste that opportunity. My stance could change, but it hasn't in well over 20 years, so I don't see what could happen that would make me want to have children. I love them. I'm a godfather myself and I like spending time with my family's children, but the burden of having one myself would be too much. That's about it. I and my wife are both financially decent off, mentally and physically healthy and could probably pull off kids without a problem as such. We just don't want to. We value our collective freedom to do what we want, whenever we want to, to travel, to hike up a mountain, to go surfing, etc. Too much. And no, we don't get lonely. We have plenty of friends and we have our dogs that tag along for all activites. Dink life is pretty sweet. I'd love to if I could be a father. Motherhood asks you to sacrifice everything from your body to identity to even your life for your child. My mom almost died in childbirth. I love my body, my financial freedom, my career, my relationship, and the cleanliness and silence of my home. I refuse to give any of that up for a child I know I would resent for upheaving my life. I firmly believe that unless you have daydreams about having children and know you absolutely want to have them, do not have them. They are not something you can feel ambivalent about. They are the ultimate lifestyle change and anyone saying otherwise is lying. I feel you I've said to several people in my 20s that I would have maybe considered having a child only if I could be a father, nobody seemed to understand. I know nowadays fathers are supposed to be more involved, but the baby still needs you more to survive during their first years and that's so much pressure. I could write you a book. Some of my reasons have changed over the years but the reasons were always valid. First was tocophobia. I still suffer from tocophobia but I've worked hard over the years to get better, because I didn't want it to affect my relationships with friends and their children. I've come a long way but it's still there. Then it was money. Then it was just the realization it wouldn't make me happy because I think I'd be resentful about putting a child's needs and desires before my own. 
and they deserve that, but then I got ill. I now live with disability and chronic pain. Having just watched my best friend struggle with even a healthy pregnancy, I think a pregnancy would leave me with irreversible damage and pain. I would be unable to care for a baby afterwards. I would severely struggle as I am right now due to chronic fatigue and chronic pain. I wouldn't be surprised if I became wheelchair bound. That sort of hammers home my previous reasons. Control over my body is leeching away as it is. I struggle to support myself. I would be miserable. And as my body and independence eroded away I would resent that poor child who didn't ask to be born. It's not meant for me. I don't see the point. There are enough kids on the planet, and I don't think I'm so precious that I need to replicate my genes. Honestly, I've never met anyone who is. By now I think there are a lot more freaked up people on this planet like loony people or people with power but corrupt. Not enough caring about the environment nature animals. The times we are living in right now is not right and it's sorta downhill. I'm not at all a pessimist but it's something to observe. We as a humanity have failed. We have the ability to live with the fact that one moment you watch a gruesome act of violence on social media and quickly swipe to the next story that's of some luxurious villa holiday photo then swipe to see a cute panda video then swipe to some sad story of a guy who lost his world to a flood natural calamity and to donate or make a change etc. And swipe to what a lovely shirt furniture etc. Let's buy that. We're full of paradoxes. The gap between the super poor and super rich is always increasing. Elon Musk is at the moment super concerned about underpopulation, not having enough people to populate Earth or other planets, right? Why not take all of India, China and Africa with you? Not so underpopulated then, are we? There's no amount of ethics, values, morals that I can teach my kid to have, when the world is seriously out of whack right now. It seems like a good time to work on ourselves, raise ourselves in these changing times, show gratitude to our family, our parents and look after them. Do things that make you happy, make your friends happy, try to meet more people, have more open conversations, be open to change and diversity, donate to causes and volunteer. A lot of people in their prime end up with kids because of society pressure, getting busy with changing diapers making the kid eat talk walk sleep etc but it's personally to me not a gratifying idea it's no great featuring it doesn't motivate me to have no time for myself because i'll be worried if they're there not there eating not eating every little detail becomes your everyday life that scares me the pressure to constantly have the energy to run around them and their life while you may have your own struggles work relations parties events to attend missing on travel not getting sleep to pamper yourself or look half decent. To make time for your own health and fitness is not easy to do. I know that I'm in a good place and just feels like this boat doesn't need to be rocked. I'm 30. F. Married BTW. No baby fever or desire to be around kids. I just don't want them. The thought of having kids is really appalling to me. I want to get married and having kids would ruin that for me. Just living the adult life caring for yourself and the person you're with and it just being the two of you. No children. I am just not interested in being a parent. IDK just think of every reason you want kids. Okay now I feel none of that. I don't want to have to raise a whole other person. Also money. And sanity. And free time. 1. Complete lack of a support system. You know the saying it takes a village to raise a child well we have no village anymore. Unless you happen to live nearby family, no one is around to help, you're on your own. You know those harried mothers and supermarkets who have screaming wailing children and they just look so exhausted and done with life? I don't want to be that person. I don't want to feel that way, ever. 2. Money. I can barely support ensure a future for myself, let alone a whole new human being with needs like diapers, medical visits food, toys, etc. At 37 I've just started to be able to actually enjoy my life so throwing it all away because every cent needs to be spent on a kid is a recipe for mental health disaster. 3. Lack of body autonomy. As soon as that test is positive, your body is no longer your own. You are no longer a person. You are an incubator for precious new life. Doctor visits where you're just out there for the world to see. 
people poking and prodding your most secret areas until they're less of a secret and more of a billboard. Then after you have a baby, the physical toll of giving more of yourself to feed it. I just can't fathom that severe of a loss of self. 4. No sleep. Constant exhaustion. I'm wiped enough working 8-5. Doing a workout, cooking dinner and cleaning up after and all the other tasks of being an adult in a home. Adding the additional lack of sleep and tasks of constantly keeping a child alive, I see it in people's drawn faces and eye bags. Why would you want to invite that on yourself? Also see lack of support system. 5. Kids destroy things. They make messes. I just was able to eke out a life for myself in the house and actually buy some new things and make it feel like I'm finally an adult. For kids to ruin the couch I saved for or the TV I saved for would just be too much. Those are symbols of my hard work and accomplishments and you just destroyed it you little s. T. L O L. 6. Also I'm just scared of all the medical stuff. The things that can go wrong. The pain. The changes to your body. The pain. The recovery process. With or without anyone to help you. The pain. Number 5 gets me. I have Lego collections. Rare books paintings, electronics. No way am I bringing in a permanent tiny hurricane to ruin all that lameo. I don't want to manage someone else's life, education, and safety. I think the state of pregnancy is freaking appalling and super gross. I can barely take care of myself. I was raised by emotionally dysfunctional people and this is the easiest way to break the cycle. Zero kids, three monies. Dogs don't need to go to college. ETA dementia on dad's side of the family, heart trouble and schizophrenia on moms, rise of diet Nazis, catastrophic climate change, no thank you, my eggs should be good and rotten by now. My wife and I are married 20 years this past June, we made the decision back in 2003 not to have children and we have never regretted that, I'm her number one and she is mine, we do have a perfect little puppy, Fergus, but never wanted or missed children. My sweet wife has had to deal with all sorts of rude personal, invasive questions both from strangers and her family. It's always fun to whip it back and say I've had 10 miscarriages. Stop freaking asking. There's always a nice awkward silence and then the person realizes it's none of their business and hopefully stops asking people about their bodies and choices in general. I like the overall idea of having kids and I think I would be a decent dad. But to me the negatives always seem to outweigh the positives and it's too much of a gamble. Do everything right during the pregnancy. Vitamins. Eating right. ETC. Kid could still end up with major health issues disabilities. Do everything right raising them. Instill good morals and work ethic. Teach kindness ETC. Kid could still end up a degenerate drug addict piece of crap. If I'm putting that much time, effort and money into something, I'd like a return on my investment, not a burden. There are a few, but one reason is that I don't want teenagers. Why would I want to spend 10 plus years in a constant argument with a petulant child? LOL. If I could have teenagers but not babies toddlers children, I'd be all for it. They're interesting and articulate and somewhat independent. The complete dependency of babies and little kids is so much of the issue for me. They take up an extraordinary amount of time, effort, and money to raise to be proper people and I'm not really willing to give that. I think it's immoral to have a kid if you can't guarantee every advantage possible before throwing them into the thresher that is the world. I have more reasons than that, but that's the big one. Multiple days babysitting my niece, 3, and nephew. 5. Made me realize I might not be cut out for the full time grind of parenting. I never wanted kids. My lifestyle also doesn't work in that direction. I'm a 38 year old man. I own my house. I drink and smoke. And I have a big fat cat. Two years ago I took myself out of the gene pool. I got a vasectomy. I was thinking about it for like 15 years and finally did it. Kids are not for me. I am completely happy being an uncle. Kids are cool but I don't want to be a dad. My cat eats better than me, in quantity and quality. In this economy, with this population, in this deteriorating environment where we're running out of water and natural resources, stress, yeah, I couldn't. Because I don't think I'm in a financial or psychological position to raise them properly. Honestly, I'm hesitant just to adopt a cat right now. 
I think most of the world's problems are caused by selfish people having children they are not adequately prepared to raise just because they want to satisfy their urge to procreate and give themselves a false sense of creating something enduring in this ephemeral world. I don't want to be part of that problem. I get overstimulated by noise very easily giving me excruciating headaches. Living with two younger brothers, 5 and 11, makes this a nightmare. I know if I ever had kids they would have to be quiet the majority of the time otherwise I would be in near constant pain and it wouldn't be fair to either of us. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.